Hey everyone, today I want to introduce you to what I think is a truly amazing plugin called Tax Rate Upload. This plugin is going to save you a ton of time in terms of importing uh, sales tax rates based on zip code uh, for the state that you do business in. Uh, I'm going to go to a demo site, uh, WooCommDemo.info, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install that plugin. So I'm just going to go to Plugins and Add New. I'm going to search for Tax Rate Upload. Install the plugin and go ahead and activate it. So now that the plugin's active, I'm going to go to Settings and Tax Rate Upload. All right, so here it'll give you instructions on what to do, but uh, basically just open up taxrates.com, click this link, and then download the tax rates uh, CVS file of the tax rates for your state base, or so where your business is based typically is the rule. So if I'm in Florida, I have to charge sales tax for anybody with a Florida zip code that buys from my site. So for example. Uh, and double check to see what the rules are obviously for your state um, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on Florida and then I'm gonna go ahead and download uh, Florida's uh, sales tax rate for each county and I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and then ask you to fill in some information here so I'm gonna do, pause the video do that and I'll be right back all right, so after you fill out the information, it's going to say thank you, your downloads are now available. Go ahead and click on the download link. And it's going to give you a C, uh, CSV file. Just go ahead and make sure to save it to your desktop. So I'm just going to save that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back into the WordPress admin and under import your CSV file, I'm going to click on browse. And you can see here it is right here and I'm going to open it and then simply click on add tax rates so that just imported that entire CSV file of all the tax rates for the state of Florida next thing I want to do is I want to determine am I going to charge tax on shipping in this case I don't want to so I'm going to say no and submit Uh, all right, now that's done. So now here I'm going to change the tax name. This is what's going to show up in the cart on the checkout. And I'm going to say Florida Sales Tax. And I'm going to update the tax name. All right, so that's it. My settings are all good. Now what I want to do is I need to go to my WooCommerce settings, make sure that I have um, sales tax set up uh, there how I need it set up. So go to WooCommerce and Settings and click on Tax. Alright, so here make sure that you have uh, taxes enabled and uh, for price entered with tax, I typically keep it at no, I will enter prices exclusive of tax um, and then for tax, uh, calculate tax based on shipping address um, in this case um, and then default customer address, uh, leave it as shop base address for now and then for shipping tax class, I leave it as, uh, all right, I'll change it to standard. And I delete reduce rate and zero rate. And then I save, um, and then down here, display prices during checkout, uh, during the cart and checkout, I like to say including tax, save changes. Okay, so now our tax, our WooCommerce tax um, settings are correct now I'm gonna to go to products and I already have some products out here so I'm gonna to have to update them to make them taxable because I didn't have them uh, that way so you might have to do that as well if you already have products out there you're gonna to have to go update each product so just go let's do this one uh, Rogers neighborhood t-shirt I scroll down to product data and on general <clears throat> you'll see that the tax status for this one is set to taxable and the tax class is standard which is what exactly what we want alright so if we go view this product out on the site and we'll add it to the cart and then we'll see what happens from there so let's go ahead and add to cart and then let's go to the checkout and see if the sales tax has been calculated alright you can see that we're using a Florida zip code and if I scroll down you'll see that the ta uh, sales tax has been automatically included in the price or added to the price alright so it's that easy um, to 
uh, <clears throat> import your sales tax rate for all the different zip codes of your state using this tax rate uploader plugin. Um, so I would highly encourage you um, to go ahead and give this a try. It's super easy as you can see and will save you a ton of time. <music>